Good afternoon. It's a bit of a grey old day out there today. Not as gloomy as uh, Interlagos at the weekend, but still, um, how should we put it? Simply miserable. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the weather. I want to tell you about these pictures that I make and how I go about making them. So first thing I do, it's a bit of a three phase thing. First thing I do is I take this um, natural wood, nice bit of solid natural wood molding and I undercoat it first of all in lengths and then I piece it together outside in my garage with my old fashioned cast iron framing machine an underpinner so I piece it together and just repair any little nicks I can assure you very little electricity is used in the making of these just the print itself bit of electric for the lights music kettle other than that very green I think you'd agree but anyway I make the frame and then what I do is I paint it Give it a coat of paint with farrow and ball dead flat i think it's called but it's a lovely sort of chalky finish black paint so i give it a coat of paint and then i pop little pins through the back of the frame which hold the prints in when i've made that and then give it another coat of paint so that's the frame made then i take one of these fantastic quality prints from uh, my friend Steve at Artworks Repro, beautiful quality G-clay prints. And uh, first thing I do is I give them a, a varnish, a spray inkjet fix satin varnish spray over, which is fantastic stuff actually. It's, uh, I've actually accidentally got glue on one of these before and I've been able to dab it off just with a damp cloth after it's been varnished. So it's good stuff. And then I paint the edges, I hand paint around the edges of the print. And then what I do with it is I fix it onto one of these pinewood strip box frames that I make up. So the print gets stuck onto that. And then we end up with that. Which I then again Give it a coat of paint around the outside, cover the fixing points, careful, cover the fixing points. And then with that, what I do, this one already signed up, this is print number two of 24. I'm only gonna make them one or two at a time. I can't stretch myself. <laughs> and that gets placed in the frame And then very gently press down onto the fixing points, which I won't do now, I'll do that properly. And after that's been done, we end up with one of these. This is the first one of its kind, print number one. I'm only gonna stop, I'll stop at 24. I'm only gonna make them one or two at a time. I've gotta be careful. I can only make one or two at a time because if I happen to have another seizure, and I come to and I don't don't even know who I am and I've got frames and stuff like that all around me it's going to be a real a real stress so I'm just making them one or two at a time and hopefully getting them out into your hands what do you think I think maybe the first couple are taken the third one I shall make up when I finish making the second one but yes Lewis 24 limited to 24 let me know what you think